So now we've got our agenda finished, but you'll probably find that we haven't tested the application yet. That's what we're going to learn in this section. The first thing we're going to learn is how to test our model. Then we're going to test the templates that we have made, then the controllers, then we're going to check if the routes we have created are OK, and finally we're going to do some end-to-end -end testing. As I've said, today we're going to start testing models. Play Framework comes with helpers to do that. Let's see how. Today we're going to test the contact model. What we're going to do is to create the contact model, fill in the name, the email and the phone, save it to the database and then fetch it and check that all fields have been saved correctly. The first thing we need to do is to create the SheUnit test file. For that, let's click here and let's add this test to the test folder. Now we have this class created in the test folder inside the models package. Before starting any test, we need to import two important things that Play asks us to do. These are the two. The first one will let us create a fake application with an in-memory database. This fake application will let us test all the things with even. The second one gives us quite a few new asserts. These are assert that which are much readable than common JUnit asserts. So let's start our test. So let's rename this test to test contact model. Then the first thing we need to do is to run this fake application. For that we're going to use the helper running. Running receives two arguments. The first one is the fake application. The fake application is created with another helper method called fake application. This fake application receives a map with options. In this case, we're going to generate a map with options for an in-memory database. We can do that with the in-memory database helper method. And then the second argument is a runnable. This runnable will have all the steps of our test. Let's create it. And now, in here, we need to put all the steps for the test. So, let's create the contact model. This contact will have a name, an email and a phone. Let's put those fields. Now, what we need to do is to extract these fields to local variables, so that after saving we can check that these fields are exactly the same. Let's do that right now. Let's extract first the name, now the email, and finally we're going to extract the phone. Now let's save this contact to the database. For that we're going to use save method provided by Play. Now that it is saved, we need to fetch this contact again from the database and check that all fields have been saved correctly. For that, we're going to use the finder. We're going to find it by ID using the ID from the saved contact. Now, let's do the asserts using assert that. First, let's check that it is not null. As you can see, assert that is much more readable. Now let's check each field. Let's do the same with email and phone. Now we can run this test. We're not going to be able to run this test with Eclipse. Even needs classes to be enhanced. Eclipse doesn't enhance them, but Play does. Anyway, let's try to run this to see what happens. As you can see, it throws an error saying that this class is not enhanced. So, let's try running this in the Play console. We're going to type test for that and it's going to test this model. As you can see, 
everything is success and the test was ok. Now let's put here is null to see what happens when the test fails. As you can see, an error is shown here and the test is unsuccessful. We have taken the contact model and we ended up testing that the objects of this class are being saved and fetched correctly. Now you'll be able to test the models for any play application. Next, we're going to learn how to test templates.